from a deposit pretty well known for a mineral called Carolite. You'll see these shiny silver metallic crystals, almost like little pyramids sitting on the on the matrix. Let me just get it a little bit in focus. It's a bit underexposed as we're seeing it. Let's see if I can increase the exposure. Um, first of all, let's have it flat. So lying flat would be this effect, looking around. And uh, you'd have a matrix of perhaps a young dolomite, pretty heavy this piece actually, so maybe some uh, uh, copper ca content of sorts on some sections. Of course, hails from the Kamoya South 2 mine, uh, one of the oldest, uh, uh, older Congolese deposits. And what we have here are these uh, carolite crystals, little pyramids of carolite. Really, this guy is not photogenic, just doesn't want to do the... Doesn't want to photograph very nicely, but let's take let's take this angle for instance. We're going to look at this crystal now. You'll see there's some uh, uh, formations on top of that carolite crystal, which would be minor chalcopyrite. Also, when we move it from side to side, there'll be a bit of light play, which would be the bornite. So, a typical associations here would be the chalcopyrite, the bornite, and of course the calcite on the matrix. And when you look into these little calcites, those flecks you see, would most likely be some chalcopyrite trapped inside as well. So, let's have a look at this angle. I, I don't know why this one is really struggling today to, to, to get any... Ah, here we go. Let's, let's get a bit of accuracy on that. Looks mighty dull. It's actually quite a vibrant piece. Um, looks dull in the video, I said. Um, let's just see if we can expose the color a little bit. There you can see the crystallization of these carolites running across the the uh, uh, matrix of, well, uh, lawn of calcite and in between the little carolites and chalcopyrites trapped here. All the way from Kamoya south to Man in the Katanga.